so we're doing an installation at this high-rise building downtown Atlanta today customers on the 11th floor and the equipment is on the rooftop here we go this is the old unit coming all the way down from the 11th floor here it goes Nice wide open doors and a commercial elevator arriving at its new house. So the old unit has been removed. Uh, it was a wall mounted one that was hanging on this bracket. That's the plenum and here's the copper line set. The 220 volt line for the emergency heat strips and that's the drain line so we're going to see if they're able to hang this thing on the wall and uh, the vent is over there i'm going to put a new five inch filter at the bottom of this unit so this is a rooftop installation we're doing you can see there's a lot of units here but ours is sitting across this wall and up this ladder and the ladder is only 24 inches wide so i don't know how these guys managed it as far as bringing the old stuff down you can see they just broke it up which makes it a little easier but um, as far as taking it up there uh, i wasn't here to see that part so i wish i could but anyway they managed to get it over so we have the new unit up here and uh, he's busy getting ready to make the copper line connections we're going to purge that line here in a minute and uh, then brazen up and hook up electrical and so on so he's coordinating with the guys downstairs and purging this line again okay yes they're coming All right, all right. All right, line is purged. So in order to make that, he's gonna extend this line, line set. Connections always well cleaned, sanded off, cleaned out. So it's all set up very nicely before the brazing begins. Super high temperature flame. And then you've got a silver bar here. That there is the gold standard of how you connect up and on. All right, so yes, sir. They managed to hang this thing beautifully. He's busy taping it up up there, and the five-inch filter is at the bottom here. So the air is just going to come in at the bottom like that. And that air is going to move under this door and through that return vent that you see there. It's just a small apartment, so plenty of return airflow. But uh, yeah, we managed to raise it so that there is a little bit of storage space underneath it here. So great job from Elia. So Elia is busy doing the drain line for the condensate, gluing it in nicely. Yes, sir. And it's going to connect to that existing one and drain all the way down. Down there. So he's starting to 
figure out the process of connecting the copper here. These are going to go all the way up there and connect over there. Very busy brazing the inside. Just had the smoke alarms go off, so it's kind of tricky to do it in a high rise like this. So based on some hard won experience, Ilio here pointed out that we, if you're going to do brazing close to one of these, you definitely want to protect it. Do you have a story With to tell about drive. this? Well, yeah, it has to there. be wet. Oh, we see. It has to, to be, be wet. wet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Well, we're all brazed up. Looking good. So he used this to check the pressure and the pressure looked good and so now he's going to vacuum the line down to 500 microns and then wait about 30 minutes to make sure we're good before the, the new refrigerant is released into the system. Putting some zip ties on the work here. So once those two numbers match, that's when he stops putting in the Freon and now he's going to open it. And the Freon that's already pre-loaded in here will be released into the system. So he did a pre-charge on the lines and now the Freon that's pre-loaded in the system already comes pre-loaded in the condenser. Alright, well it just turned on for the first time. Super quiet. It's running. So this is the final check. I needed to add a little bit more Freon so it's checking to make sure that we're within the range and that's it we're just about done here it's a good installation so we're talking to the guys on the roof and we are setting it up for heat making sure that portion of it works the unit is hanging on the wall so there's a little bit of storage space underneath it. The filter is right here. The air is entering the filter down there. And then the plenum there was extended because the previous one wasn't quite as wide. The line set was extended and the drain line was reconfigured to run around here. So you have easy access to the filter box and that front cover will just pop off and you can slide the new filter in, I'll show you. We pull the filter out this way, very easy to install. And this filter is typically good for about a year. This pops on like that. The unit is running, it's pretty quiet. Variable speed technology and Right here is the thermostat, the Lenox series, smart thermostat, it's busy cooling and it shows you right there, uh, the humidity is 56 and it's busy working its way down to that 68. So yeah, great installation.